Sometimes games come along, particularly in the sports world, where they'll revolutionise the controls for something. And a good example of this is when golf games moved from a press button power meter style way of playing to flicking analog sticks back and forth and judging your speed and accuracy by how well you flicked things and this can be great and revolutionary but it takes a while to re-scramble your brain in the right order to then adjust to a new way of playing a game Apply that golf logic through to tennis, and this is exactly the journey I'm having with Twin Stick Tennis, a one to two player arcade top down style tennis game that looks and feels very Pong like, but it has a unique Twin Stick shooter style control setup that takes an awful long time to get used to. The idea of this is that the left analog stick is moving around your player, but the right analog stick, or if you're moving around your mouse, if you're playing mouse and keyboard, controls not only the power of your shot, but the trajectory of things too. And you really have to arc things around. So I've left on all of the helpful UI, which I've, is imperative if you're trying to learn this game. You can see there's arcs around my player on the top or bottom. So if you want to hit from the top side, then you'll need to go round and up your analog stick left to right or right to left and then if you're doing the other side then it'll be down and round but again the speed of how you do that controls the power but then also the positioning of it against the ball and where your player is situated controls the arc of where you're going it takes a long time to get any skill and competency with this and the beauty is that the game really knows and understands that too so it offers you a paddle ball mode. And actually, I'm having more fun with the paddle ball mode at the moment than I am with the tennis mode because I'm that poor at this game. <laughs> with paddle mode, you can basically bat around the outside of the pitch. And so the walls are fair game. You can bounce off of walls. You can allow something sometimes if you change it in the menus to do a double bounce before... Um, the triple bounce then scores a point for the opponent. It can be really helpful to allow you to have fun with this game without having to learn the real nuance of trajectory and player placement and bat speed and placement too. However, if you do want to learn much more about it, you can also go into a training mode where a mach ball machine will just keep firing like balls at you and you get 30 lives and once you've missed 30 or you've batted 30 the wrong way which is what normally happened with me it becomes game over but the ball machine gets faster and faster it's a big high score challenge in a decent mode to have the other cool thing around this is that the ai is very uh, adjustable and it's got a percentage meter and i like that it's called the goat meter <laughs> Um, and so if they're down at the lower end of the percentage scale, they don't run around nearly as much. Um, they don't do special shots, which I'll get to in a second. And they're generally quite fallible if you keep flicking balls from left to right on their side of the court. However, move it up the percentage scales and they'll start to do the special shots, which you can control by pressing different shoulder buttons as you swing your bat. There's lobs. There's backspin, topspin, power shots, drop shots, and it depends on what you're doing with the different buttons and where you've placed your character. Depends on what you're, what's going on. And the arc behind the ball also lets people know what's been hit too, so that you can kind of react really quickly on the fly. So there's a lot of things here that you'd find in a much more traditional pro tennis game. But it's just arcade distilled down with this bizarre control scheme that I think is quite ingenious in some ways, but also just takes an exceptional amount of time to sort out. There's also quite a few customization features in here too. You can readjust court sizes, which I think is quite cool. There's different surfaces in the court. So you've got hard court, grass and clay, and that affects the bounces of the balls as they go through. You can enable and disable various different tennis rules like double hits, wall hits, player hits, um, whether you can volley back on a serve, things like that. And there's different types of bats and balls too, which will change A, the speed of the ball and how well it will bounce and like the speed of its return. But also you can get different sized bats. So if you've got someone that's just not quite as well versed in this game and struggling to get to grips with it, it gives them a much wider reach, but in a sacrifice of power coming back. So it's really helpful to get your training wheels on. 
Ultimately, twin stick tennis requires skill, and that does require time to get up to a certain level of competency before you can have fun with this. And that might hold back sales, and it might hold back uh, people wanting to invest time in this. But if you do invest time in this, I think this will be a good local multiplayer game that will offer plenty of fun for you for many hours in the future, despite it being very small in scope and succinct in what it has to offer. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.